right, YouTubes. We're gonna head out. Um, I got this walk-in box, a scroll condensing unit. It's got the Emerson Digital Low Pressure Control Head Pressure Fan Cycling Control. And it has been intermittently throwing codes. We changed the probes on it and did a bunch of stuff. And we're gonna scrap that thing and just make it mechanical again. And I got a couple of the little peanut switches. I got a head pressure protection, I got low pressure, and I got a fan cycling that we're gonna put on this unit. And I'll bring you guys along. Let's go take a look at it. Oh, Tippins. All right, we'll grab Tippy today. And we'll get some gloves. And I'll grab a few parts here. Hang on. All right, here's the unit. This little guy is intermittently keeps getting hammered. And uh, I'm gonna make it mechanical. The discharge probe here will turn the unit off at 225 degrees. You can see what it's reading right now, 186. And I just can't have intermittent nuisance trips. And what's, what it's doing is, it's not bringing on the other fan as, as it lead lags and switches, and it's intermittently overheating the unit. So I'm just gonna 86 the thing. And I'll show you what we're going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and kill power. We got her powered off. And we're going to get into this thing. I pulled all the connectors off of the controller and you'll see that we got coil wire blue and red so I want those and then we got black as a hot from one side the two browns are the other halves of the condenser fan motors Browns were the other halves of the condenser fan motors, and then the main half of the condenser fan motors are coming off this side. The black was coming off the other side, and these are our coil wires to our contactor. All of this, and all of this. Went out. Oh, we do have a head pressure switch. I don't need to install a head pressure switch. Just fan cycling. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Head pressure. Right, here's what I'm going to use. Low pressure. Mars 43341. And fan cycling. 43306. Do you have a head pressure control right there that we will reuse? We got the transducer off. We got all this spaghetti out of there. And let's start with the low pressure control first. This is going to go where the transducer was up here. 
suction service valve and it does have a Schrader installed. So that's really nice. All right, we're gonna put the uh, low pressure control on first. It'll always tell you what your open and close is on the switch. We're gonna open at five PSI, close at 20. That'll be good for a pump down that's running 407C. We'll get a little Loctite on the threads here. And we will get our low pressure control on there. Yep, you can hear that. The Schrader energize. And we will get this on there. What's cool on these, this type of unit, the only load going through that pressure switch is going to be the load of the uh, coil for the contactor. Now I am going to put the load of the motor through the fan cycle switch. And this motor pulls 1.1 amps, so it's not going to crush the fan cycling switch. It's made to handle that load. Now the one thing to your chagrin that I am going to do, if I could find it, I am going to put a service T on the liquid line valve to catch the uh, fan cycling switch. But I am gonna have a Schrader on both ports. So we're gonna get that hooked up here in just a second. I got my service T here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the fan cycle switch on the T tighten and then get the T onto the service valve. It's just easier to tighten this on here before you get it on your king valve. All right, we've got the fan cycling switch. It's gonna make a 275, open at 210. And now we can get this onto the king valve. Okay, a couple things to consider. Since we're gonna run that like that, we are gonna have to crack the king valve a little bit so we can get a reading. So you know, make sure that this is on tight. And we're gonna have to leak check our connections real good before we're done. I sometimes even add a little leak lock on the cap screw threads. And we're gonna have to check that real good. Then we're gonna be ready to wire this guy up. Nice and tight. So, we're gonna wire We don't need the red wire. The contactor coil already gets half hot from L1 and we're gonna take L2 to the head pressure switch and the low pressure switch in series and back to the other half of the coil. That simple. And we'll do the fans next. Let's get these going. We already got the wires for the head pressure switch right here. Let's get these ones in. A little half inch pop in bushing. Get it right in here. Right there, there it is. So we don't chafe the wires. It's gonna go ahead and take the coil wire. And we're gonna go ahead and I put a female spade there. Got a male spade here. We'll go ahead and fire off that half of the circuit. Get it through the hole there. All right, so we're all wired up there. We're going hot through the high head pressure switch, out of the high head pressure switch, into the low pressure switch, out of the low pressure switch, to the other half of the coil. That part's done. Now the fan cycling switch, we got the two condenser fan motors here. 
they're both half hot from L1. I'm gonna go ahead and make the left motor the lead motor, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here. Right off the bottom of the contactor. Contactor pulls in, that's my lead motor. This one's gonna cycle off the fan cycling switch. Half of the fan motor is already hot. Coming off this side of the contactor, we will get this side through our fan cycling switch and the other half of the hot. All right, after you get it all wired up, you need to keep the old controller because it fills up the space in the box for your start components and your contactor. And let's go ahead and check everything for leaks. We'll get her soaked up here. and run some tests and we can test that uh fan cycling works and we can check our pump down so so far nothing's leaking that looks good we'll get gauged up on this thing all right there's our static pressure I'll zoom in Let's go ahead and flip the switch. We got our lead motor. This is our fan cycling motor. And we'll let the pressures come around and stabilize. And we'll run some checks on here. This is the inside of the box. It's a full box, two coils. And we can check our pump down. Let's go ahead and turn our stat up. And we'll see if our unit will pump down out here. Pump down, check. Plug up the condenser and see where our fan cycling comes on at. Let's see if the head pressure comes up. Pressure gets low enough. There it goes. It's kind of, kind of stops, kind of tight there. I have to sell some motors. So another way you could do this, if you've seen in my videos before too, where I had the the dual pressure control and the separate big uh, fan cycling switch. That's a great way to do it on these. Uh, I did this today like this because this is what I had on the truck. Um, and it will work with just this setup since you already have a head pressure control on these little systems. Yeah. Happy box of Titus. All right, we're back together. We're working, we're mechanical now. 
and uh, that's what I do when I come across those and they're giving me grief or they get old or I don't have the parts on the truck I'll just switch them over to mechanical and let it rip uh, if you like the video hit the like button if you haven't yet please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications